this is soap dries so it should be soaked for at least uh, one or two hours so that uh, you know when we start cooking it is cooked properly so if you see you can break it in your hand you can soak for one hour as well two hours is better so you we'll make a grind out of it grind it to this consistency it shouldn't be too pasty so we have made a mango puree here and a grapes puree so today we are going to make firni out of uh, both the mango and grape flavor I haven't tried the grape flavor ever before mango flavor we have tried so ensure your flavor or like the mango puree and the amount of rice uh, batter that you want is almost equal we also need a good amount of uh, milk so if i'm making 1 cup of um, mango puree then i need approximately 4 cups of milk and then we need sugar for taste so sugar is quite subjective so if your mango puree is too sweet then use a little bit less sugar because not everybody like too much sugary stuff but if you're like mango puree is not sugar and in this case i know uh, grape puree is a little bit sour it's a black grape so i need more sugar for uh, grape one and then uh, for garnishing purpose i have some uh, cashew almond and uh, pista so that's as how you want to eat but your main ingredients here are milk sugar puree and rice butter that's it it's very simple very easy won't take too much of time at all like uh, you need uh, ghee or anything like that you can just straight away go ahead and like you know pour your milk so i have a cut back of milk here which i'm going to use so i'm making only like two cups of um, grape and uh, approximately four cup of uh, uh, milk for mango one so it, it, it's important that you manage your uh, consistency it need not be always like you know four is to one because uh, some people like lesser milk so that is possible as well if you want you can add some water very little but uh, my suggestion don't add water just see where the milk is boiling so this is the right time to put our ingredients though so to introduce uh, Rice batter with milk. Introduce. <laughs> Where did you learn this from? Some show. So this is enough for uh, the the grape one because we are making a smaller quantity. So putting the rice batter into the milk. Just ensure that you put it all, like you know, in proper consistency and ensure it is properly worked upon and they don't sit in the same place. So since I have not worked on this ever before, I don't know, it might get spoiled too, but well, it's worth taking the risk. Oh, I can see that it's getting that texture that we need for the firni. Let's introduce mango puree. Approximately a cup because I use four cups of uh, milk. How many mangoes is this? Uh, two small and one uh, average size. And which type of mango is this? I'm using a blend of Sindura and uh, Alfonso. But Alfonso is very rich in taste, so you can use only Alfonso as well. Or any seasonal mango is fine for that matter. So, as you can see, there are lumps which will. Uh, it melted as and when we are working on it. Um, Although my nice. grape firni did not give me the color, the traditional mango firni can never go wrong. Let's introduce sugar. So let's put some sugar 
for taste. So this mango was like very sweet, so I'm not going to put too much of sugar. So I think so much is enough. So we are ready with our mango filling here. Look at the consistency. This is exactly what we wanted. You know, it's grainy, it's not too runny, it's not too smooth. So, that and then here is the perfect kind of grapes firni. So, I thought it would go for a toss, but uh, apparently it did turn out good. Pretty much good. Just smell that roasted cash. Amazing. Problem with this a little bit, not roasting it at all, just to get the crispiness. 